Well, we're back and it's a good day to stay inside and bundle up maybe with some hot chocolate. If yeah. You can. It all sounds good, but how do you keep your pets safe when they have to go out? We know they do. Veterinarian Dr. Mike Hutchinson is here with some answers for us. And Dr. Mike, uh, we want to get to some of your important tips, but one of the things I have to ask you, because all of our viewer pictures coming in, almost all of them seem to involve pets. So what are your most important tips to keep our pets safe? Well, we want to watch their signs. You know, if they're having a fun time, I have a long-haired shepherd. He wants to be out 24-7 in this weather. This is his weather. But if you have a dog with a short coat, like I have a pit bull with a short coat, she wants to go out, eliminate, and come right back in and literally tells you she runs back to the door. So watch them, see how they're doing. If you want to take them for a walk, take them for shorter walks, uh, maybe put a coat on them, you know, a, a, a designer coat or something, if they're used to it. And, uh, and then when you get back, their paws, the rock salt, things like that, you have to rinse them off, maybe get paw wipes, those are nice. I always tell people that's the biggest problems that we see from pets when they're outdoors coming in is the paw issues. And you have to, you can just rinse them in a cup of warm water and, uh, and that will help dissolve anything that's in between the pads. And then just wipe them with a towel and make sure they're clean. The other things that we see this time of year, cars, heaters and fires, rat poison, antifreeze, those are the big wintertime hazards with pets, cats outdoors. You come in with your car, it's warm. The cats will climb up under the hood just to be warm and if you don't bang on that hood, there could be a, a horrible accident. Wow. Um, yeah. Peters and fires stands to reason. They can knock them over. They can get burnt. They can start fires. We want to be real careful. And then the rodents come in during the winter time. So this is when we have all the fun time with mice, especially out in the country. So people will put out rodenticides and we want to make sure that our pets can't get into them because we see that a lot. And antifreeze leaking in the garage is a very dangerous thing for pets. A little bit can put them in kidney failure in four wow. hours. So we want to make sure we're watching those things. You mentioned about like little sweaters and jackets for the pets. What about those little booties for dogs? Because I've seen those too. Are those worth it? Yeah, they're great if your dog isn't walking around like this, you know, <laughs> with all the four feet shaking them, not wanting to put them on. But I think they're fantastic. Um, if your pet's used to them, I love those. Some people get... Um, you know, they really get fancy with those those booties. They come in and they, they show me they match their raincoats or their winter coats or their sweaters. Um, it, it's really neat what's out there. I like all of that. I think that's fantastic. But we have to judge the pet. And I pray this, you know, I, I, in this kind of weather, I hope all pets are indoors. But if they are outdoors in a house, make sure that there's no leaks, draft, you know, leaks, things like that. Make sure they have plenty of fresh water that heated bowls this time of year you can keep that thawed out so it doesn't ice up and and they should be off the ground so that they're not getting damp and straw lined with straw or hay so that they can keep warm blankets are okay but a lot of dogs will shred those and uh, just make sure that they're properly cared for as well and we should up the nutrition if they're outdoors 10 to 15 percent more calories for winter animals i prefer they're inside that's my advice but if they're outside just be very, very careful. Check on them often. All right, Dr. Mike, thank you so much. Always some great advice, and we appreciate you weighing in on this very cold, wintry Monday. Thank you. My pleasure. Stay warm. Dr. Mike Hutchinson of Animal General in Cranberry, also a regular PTL contribu contributor, and you can look for him on KDK Radio and on his podcast.